All right, first of all, I just want to thank uh, SCOE for this wonderful opportunity. Um, it's been just an awesome, awesome year, two years out there at Carson Creek, uh, which is a Sacramento County Boys Ranch for you guys. Uh, also, like to thank my principal, Linda Mitchell, right. for her awesome, awesome work and uh, allowing me to have fun and do, do what I like to do. Uh, I'd like to thank my biggest inspiration, my mother, right there. <laughs> Uh, she's been a real big inspiration. She's, uh, she's actually a teacher herself, and a uh, retired teacher, and uh, she was never afraid to take on the toughest teaching assignments. For example, she worked at Folsom Prison. <laughs> and she worked at the uh, Youth Authority for several years. So she has been uh, my biggest inspiration. She taught me everything I know. Um, also, I thank my lovely wife, Ane, for putting up with me and my new ego. <laughs> also, sticking by me during the lean years when I was a substitute teacher. I thank all my family and friends who uh, came out tonight. I'd like to especially thank my student, Eugene, and his family for their support. Certainly appreciate Also, on the front lines with me every day, I'd also like to thank my incredible colleagues over there from Carson Creek. All right. Woo. All right, so I just want to kind of, uh, I just put together something just to kind of talk about the journey. I still remember 12 years ago the sound of my mother's voice resonating in my ear. Go get him, tiger. <laughs> As I drove for many miles and spent countless hours on the road, all with the hope of inspiring youth behind bars. You see, I have taught in a variety of juvenile institutions all over California with one mission in mind, and that was to make a difference in the lives of young people and shape the minds of entire generation through education. I've always had hope and faith that I would have an impact on at least one of my students. And though I have never seen the fruits of my labor, I keep getting up. I keep getting up and getting back on that road. Because in my mind, I knew that my students needed me to be there. And I truly believe that one day, like today, would come. So I'm so proud and so blessed and so honored that today I finally get to see the fruits of my labor. And I am truly fulfilled. Thank you.